So welcome to my little existence once again. Um, this is like a winter update video. Might turn out to be a little bit long, I don't know, I'm not too sure. Teddy's here in his little red jumper. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of a video to tell you like what the hell has been going on. Let me close this window, it's freezing. It feels like I say this pretty much every time I make a video. I'm sorry for being so quiet and blah blah blah, excuses, excuses. So I want to kind of do something to actually put this cycle to rest now because it's getting a bit silly. The main reason is because for the last 13 months I have been working a night shift um, on a four on four off basis at a well-known company that's to do with clothes. Um, but I won't name the employer for privacy reasons. To be honest, I've been buying a lot of clothes from the clothes company. Big surprise, I get some sort of discount, which is nice. I've been indulging myself in upgrading my wardrobe a bit and not particularly showing it off today in a hoodie. But it has been paying for the trips I took last year and the trips are obviously what I want to be showing you. And on my four off, I'm just so tired. And especially in the winter when it's been darker, longer. I would be driving home in the dark, I'd get home and the sun would start to rise and then I'd fall asleep and then I'd wake up in the dark again. Can you imagine? And it makes it difficult for me to have the energy and the motivation to edit videos, which, especially when it takes this long, and that brings me to my next point. My computer is a nine-year-old monster and I think I need a new one. I mean, I bought it for over a thousand pounds at the time. I think 2009 here, we're looking at six gigs of RAM, which is well ahead of its time. We're looking at a, what, 2.7 gigahertz quad-core processor. I've uh, added to it over the years. It's got 16 gigs of RAM now, and I got a new graphics card for it at Christmas as well to try and see if I could speed up the Adobe Premiere Pro editing process that way, because literally, as I put the clips onto my timeline and then drag a clip out, the program will just freeze for like three minutes and then I'll have to do something else and it's it's unworkable really. So I now have a couple of papers which I'm going to be signing in the next couple of days and that will give me a bank loan to buy a new one. So I've made that step and uh, I'm getting all the parts online thanks to the help of a friend who's helped me pick them out. So it's going to be a new, up-to-date monster PC with... I mean, I'm going to talk to you about some specs here, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm going for an i7 processor, uh, 8700K. Pretty much top-of-the-line stuff. Stopping short of needing a processor for, like, professional server farms or something. So it's pretty much the, the best processor I could find. 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going serious on the RAM here. I'm getting a 500 gig SSD hard drive, because I've heard they're all the rage these days, um, in addition to a one terabyte regular hard drive. Uh, Blu-ray burner, because why not? And the graphics card I got for Christmas, I'm just going to bring it over, as well as the power supply unit I recently bought to... Because I, because actually the funny thing was, my computer, when I installed the new graphics card, after a couple of days it just started shutting down randomly. So I had to get a new power supply unit. and. It took quite a lot of process of elimination to actually find out it was the power supply unit that needed replacing. And when I got my computer back from the repair shop that was local, they said it was the weirdest PC they'd ever worked on. And this is like a sort of professional stockist of computer parts. Like, they'd never seen anything like it. So, that being all said, it is time to say goodbye to this clunky, extremely heavy, actually, steel beast that's nine years old and looks like it's due to take off into space at any moment. So yeah, I'm going to be getting a new computer and I'll make a video about that because I think those tech upgrade videos are quite satisfying to remember. And that will, please God, make me a hell of a lot more productive because editing won't be such a long and slow process anymore, so fingers crossed. That goes well, I am trying to address the issues of a lack of content on my side. Those are the two sort of main issues. It's like a you know, the night shift gets to my energy levels, energy levels get to my motivation, and then there's the lack of a power and speed in a computer to deal with. So I'm addressing at least one of those issues, because that's the one thing I can control. Um, and hopefully having a much faster computer will affect my motivation as well. But the night shift has to stay for the moment. Um, I can't really afford to go on days because I would sadly be taking a bit of a pay cut, quite a significant one, if I did that. So 
Uh, I'm sticking out for now. I'm working at the moment on the third video from Portugal, Lisbon, um, where I explored the district of Belém, and then in addition to the modern part of the city in the east, uh, where this year's Eurovision Song Contest is going to be held. So that was cool. It's quite a long video, actually. So I might split it into two parts. You'll see. Don't know. Um, in December, I went to Prague in the Czech Republic to explore the Christmas markets. And I have started work on that video, but actually I'm considering delaying the release of that one to this autumn, autumn 2018, because it just seems a bit silly now that Christmas is well and truly past and we're heading towards spring to make a Christmas travel video. But you'll see it eventually. So it was, very, it was a very nice city, Prague, but I wouldn't hurry back, if I'm honest with you. Very nice to look at, not a lot to do. That's how I'd summarise Prague. And of course... Japan was the, my big trip, my main, big main trip last year. Um, the first two, well, one and a bit episodes are online already for you to watch, uh, featuring Dakota, and there'll be lots more of that, me and Dakota in Tokyo, as well as when I went off on my own little Shinkansen tour down to Kyoto, Osaka, with a stop in Nagoya as well. The JP17 series will continue alongside PT17 from Portugal. There's still quite a few more Portuguese episodes to do, so that's good content that should keep things chucking along. And in addition to getting a new computer, which is a big buy, I have got some trips in mind for 2018. Nothing's booked or finalised yet, but I'm not going to hide them from you like I normally do. I'm not going to keep you in too much suspense, so I'm going to be really open with you. The places I'm aiming to visit in 2018 are Switzerland. That is my big main trip for the year. It's going to be a very special kind of nostalgia trip uh, because I used to live there when I was a kid and I want to go chasing up the old childhood spots, see if I can find where I used to live, explore that sort of area and then see what else I can discover and learn about my former second home country. And I still consider it like a bit of a part of me, Switzerland, so it'd be really nice to reconnect with that country because I've not been back there since 1995. A long time ago now. I'm turning 30 this year. Scary. I'm also thinking about going to Estonia, because it's a country I have been interested in visiting for a long time now. And they recently celebrated their centenary of, I think it was their independence or their creation. I'm not actually sure what the centenary was of, but it's a national, it's, it's of major national significance. And so congrats to all the Istias out there who may be watching, and I would love to come and visit you this year in 2018, see your beautiful capital city of Tallinn, and explore your lovely forests. That would be nice. And then I need somewhere warm to go, and I've got two places in mind for that. I'm thinking either Malta or Greece. How's that sound? So it's all within Europe. I'm not going anywhere too much far flung this year. I've actually been actively discouraged from visiting Malta by my mum, who's a travel agent. She's used a word to describe Malta, which Donald Trump used to describe African countries. So uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go and try and defy her on that and uh, go and have myself a nice time in Malta. Uh, but I am also thinking about Greece. Um, I've been to Greece once in 2004, a long time ago now. Um, and that was to the island of Zakynthos or Zanti for short, where that famous shipwreck beach cove is. It's really beautiful there. I might take a stop in Athens, because I've never been to Athens before, and I would love to see the Acropolis. But I think the main attraction for me in Greece is going to be one of the islands where those lovely whitewashed villages are. So I'm thinking maybe Santorini, possibly Mykonos, but Mykonos has a bit of a reputation for... Something that probably doesn't suit me. Let's just put it that way. I haven't decided yet, but those are the three trips I've got in mind for 2018. So, you know, in addition to a new computer, they'll all be coming out. And I will continue the Japan and Portugal series alongside them. And you will then see a video from the Czech Republic in the autumn. So how does that all sound Lots of content coming your way, and lots of tech upgrades coming my way. The only other big news really is that I bought a car in the autumn, which is nice. So that's something else my job's enabled me to do. Just getting on with life, really. I'm not really much of a day-in-my-lifestyle vlogger, and to be honest, if I tried, I think you'd be bored out of your head. There's not really much to my life. I've got no social life. I've, I just 
I work, I come home, I sleep, I edit, I eat, I sleep and I go back to work again. That's pretty much all I do. I need friends. And um, when I'm not doing that, I'm travelling. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. And hope you're all well. And I'm just chugging along and looking forward to the spring when it will warm up a bit more. And um, that's it. So, thank you for watching. Sorry it was a bit rambly and a bit boring, but... You'll hear from me again very soon, I'm sure. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy all my other content, because I'm probably quite sure you didn't enjoy this. <laughs> Check out the snow. It's lovely. There's quite a bit of this on the way to Prague. Anyway, come and see my new car. This will be fun. It's very slippery here. Not that one. There it is. Just hide my number plate. <laughs> It's a little Volkswagen. It's quite nice, isn't it? I'm happy with it. It's just a little run around, but I've got it quite a good deal and it's brand new. Help if I unlock the door. Ah, oh, lovely. Yes. It's my little motor. I'm happy. Happy with my little motor. My motor car. Okay, bye bye.